Gideon Moy's Kanu party officials have labeled Musalia Mudavadi's decision to join forces with Deputy President William Ruto as a betrayal. Wiper supporters, on the other hand, claim that the change has no bearing on their candidate, Kalonzo Musyoka. NTV's Nayoma Sampao has that story. A day after the reported earthquake at the ANC's National Delegates Congress, political actors have continued to express their views on Mudavadi's choice to partner with Deputy President William Ruto. <laughs> Wiper leader Kalonzo Musioka claims that Musali Mudavadi and Moses Wetangula have not publicly informed their fellow Oka principals of their decision to leave the One Kenya Alliance. Today, at Mwingi Central, where he commissioned the construction of the NZU bridge and then addressed his supporters in Mwingi Town, he announced that he will be traversing the entire Ukambani area beginning Thursday to consolidate his base before moving to the rest of the country. Weta and I have come a long way. Even if it becomes imperative that my brother Weta goes a separate way, it will be painful for me. But this is a brother that I have known. And I want to ask that he reconsiders whether, they, because they have not announced they're leaving one Kenya lands, I want to finish this struggle with a person I trust called Moses Masika Wetangola. Many have interpreted Mudavadi's move as the end of the shaky relationship. However, the principles are yet to give the way forward. The focus has now switched to the Wiper leader, with political insiders hailing him as a potential kingmaker in the August election. To kill Ajana. I think my other friends were causing traffic jam. Jam imeondoka. Sasa neekulu direct. The Kanu party appears to be incensed by Mudavadi's move, calling it a betrayal of the One Kenya Alliance core principles. The Kanu Nairobi branch hereby condemn the ANC leadership fraternity led by the party leader, Honorable Musali Mudavadi, for the cheap, dubious, politics they have been playing with Oka core principles blindfolding them to believe they are fighting a similar cause yes just so joining as a mark time to shame the fellow visionary minded and capable leaders with the so-called hot air earthquake Koto Secretary General Francis Atuli has criticized Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Wetangula for auctioning off the Luya community. We are the second largest community in the Republic of Kenya. We need uncompromising leader. Luya's need uncompromising leader. The ODM leader who visited a gathering in Moranga today ahead of his political tour of the county on Saturday threw a subtle job at the reported earthquake. We will work together with you, all your people, and try to make Saturday different. Don't promise an earthquake <laughs> and don't even deliver an earthquake. Both Raila and William Ruto are expected in Mount Kenya this weekend. Naoma Sampao, NTV.